Hello dear students and welcome back to this online class video. This is the second part of the third chapter How many squares of class 5 subject mathematics. Let's start the class. Now come to the overview of today's class. So I have taken only two topics for today's class. So the first is measure is terms and the second is how big is my hand. These two topics are related to area. Okay, in this two section we will know that how to find the area in a simple way. Now come to the first topic that is measure stamps. So here you can see uh, six Indian stamp tickets. So there is a question in my mind that I want to ask you that uh, from where do you all buy the stamp tickets? Write your answer in the comment section. I will definitely check it. Now. Uh, in your previous class, class 4, you have studied about the stamp tickets and there we found the value of these stamp tickets. So now you will tell me what is the value of these all stamp tickets. Okay, let's take your previous knowledge. So here is stamp A. Okay, and uh, tell me its value means its price. What is the price of this stamp ticket? Yes, here it is written 500. It means the value of this stamp ticket is 500 paise, or you can say. 5 rupees because 500 paise makes 5 rupees now come to the B uh, here it is written 75 okay on the stamp ticket it means the value of this stamp ticket is 75 paise okay similarly come to the D here it is written 200 okay so the value of this stamp ticket will be 200 paise or you can say 2 rupees very nice now uh, let's check some question or here Look at these interesting stamps. We already have seen that. Now, uh, here is a notice from a bird that stamp D covers 12 squares. Each square is of side 1 cm. So, the area of stamp D is 12 square cm. Okay, so here is the stamp D. Okay, and the bird is saying that the one side of 1 square. Okay, my it means this one is one centimeter. So it has total uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it has total uh, four sides. It means the length of uh, this uh, stump is four centimeter. Okay, and the breadth is one, two, three. This is three centimeter. So to find the area of a rectangle, we just multiply the length and breadth. Okay, from the formula. So just multiply the length and breadth. So you will get four three are twelve. 12 square centimeter it means that is right okay so now come to question a how many squares of 1 centimeter side does stamp a cover and stamp b okay so now we have to find the number of squares of stamp a and b okay so come to stamp a first so here uh, you have you can see that many square box are here so it is it will take many times that if you will count one by one all box so let's find a simple way to count this up first count uh, the upper boxes vertically okay then horizontally so you will check that one two three okay three square box are covering vertically and horizontally it is covering one two three four five and six okay so multiply six with three so you will get 6 3 is 18 okay so we can say that stamp a is covering 18 squares clear now come to stamp b similarly same way uh, you will do to find the number of square for stamp b so count vertically first 1 2 3 and 4 and now count horizontally 1 and 2 so 4 2 is 8 so stamp b is covering only 8 squares so here you can write the answer for stamp A uh, we will write 18 squares okay and uh, for stamp B we will write 8 so this is your answer now next question which stamp has the biggest area okay let's find out it and uh, you can see here the biggest stamp is looking the A okay so D and E is not so we can say that stamp A is the biggest okay now next question 
uh, how many squares of side 1 cm does this stamp cover means we have to find the area of this stamp how much is the area of the biggest stamp okay so first you can write uh, for this question how many squares of side 1 cm does this stamp cover so you can write 18 squares and now we have to find its area so how you will find its area actually the area will be 18 square centimeter you can write directly but how you will find let me help you as it is told that one square means one side of one square is one centimeter right so it has how many squares total that is horizontally count it it's two three four five six it means six centimeter this is the length and what is the breadth one two three so three centimeter is the breadth so six three is a 18 so you can write 18 square centimeter as i told you okay now you will uh, find the area of this all stamp tickets let's find it quickly so now come to b uh, count i mean first find the length of this and length and breadth of this stamp ticket so the length is one and one two it means two centimeter and the breadth is one two three four so four two is eight so you can write now uh, area of b is eight square centimeter and for c one two three the length is three centimeter and breadth is two so three two is six square centimeter okay so we can write eight for b eight square centimeter for stamp b and stamp c the area is six okay now similarly d we have already found it 12 square centimeter and for e 2 to the 4 it will be 4 and now for f count the length 1 2 3 so 3 and the breadth is 1 2 3 4 so 3 4 is 12 okay so here you can see that d and f has same area 12 12 square centimeter now remember this areas of this all stamp tickets okay because we have to answer the all questions so now come to the question now uh, b is clear now see which two stamp have the same area yes before sometime i told you that d and f have the same area and now next question how much is the area of each of this stamp ticket so you can write 12 square centimeter now next question d the area of the smallest stamp is dash square centimeter so here you found the smallest stamp ticket was e okay and uh, the area is 2 to the 4 square centimeter so there you can write 4 square centimeter is the uh, area of the smallest stamp ticket now uh, next question is here the difference between the area of the smallest that is 4 okay 4 square centimeter and the biggest biggest is 18 18 square centimeter is how much so just subtract it 18 minus 4 it you will get 14 square centimeter so here you can write the difference between the area of the smallest and greatest stamp ticket is 14 square centimeter so it was very interesting to find the area of the all stamp tickets i hope that you all enjoy it now next collect some old stamps place them on the square grid and find their area and perimeter so this is your activity you can do it at your home now come to the next question some guest questions are here which has the bigger area so let's think about it one of your footprints are the page of this book so your footprint will very small okay comparing to the page of this book so definitely your page of this book will be greater that will have a greater area now come to b uh, which has the smaller area two five rupee notes together together okay means you have to uh, paste the five rupees one by one like this okay and these sides will be joined or you can uh, put them up and down now are a hundred rupee note so which has a smaller area so for that we have to find the area of two five rupees notes and area of a hundred rupee note okay so let's find out first that uh, i want to show you that is a five rupee note okay that you have seen and now uh, at first we have to find the length and the breadth 
okay this is the length and this is the breadth of this 5 rupee note okay so first we will find the area of one 5 rupee note then we will multiply by two because we have to find the area of two 5 rupees note okay so i measured a 5 rupee note and i found the length of the 5 rupee note was 11.7 and the breadth was 6.2 cm okay and this 5 rupee note is in the shape of a, a rectangle so to find its area we will multiply the length and breadth so when you will multiply 11.7 to 6.2 so you will get 72.54 square centimeter okay and now you will multiply by 2 72.54 is the area of 1 5 rupee note okay so to find the area of 2 5 rupees note you will multiply by 2 because uh, 5 rupees notes have the same length and breadth so the area will be also same so now you will multiply so you will get 145.08 square centimeter okay this is the area of 2 5 rupees note okay 145.08 remember that now let's find the area of a 100 rupee note so once again we have to measure this length and breadth of 100 rupee note and uh, i found the length of this 100 rupee note is 14.2 cm and uh, the breadth is 6.6 cm okay now let's find its area so this 100 rupee note is in the shape of a rectangle so to find its area we will multiply the length and the breadth because the formula to find uh, find the area of a, a rectangle is uh, length into breadth so after multiplying 14.2 to 6.6 .6, uh, you will get 93.72 square centimeter now remember the area of two fiber rupee note was uh, 145.2 uh, 0.8 square centimeter now you can easily compare that which area is smaller so you will get that 93.72 square centimeter is smaller so we can say that the area of a 100 rupee note is smaller than the 2 5 rupee note okay now come to the second question uh, look a 10 rupee note is its area more than 100 square centimeter so for that come to the note of a 10 rupee so here you can see and the length and the breadth of this 10 rupee note is 13.7 centimeter and 6.2 is the breadth now its area will be yes once again multiply this to length and breadth so uh, you will get 84.94 square centimeter and the question was that is it more than 100 square centimeters so we can say no this is not more than 100 square centimeter okay so the answer is in no now next question we have uh, is the area of the blue shape more than the area of the yellow shape why okay so here we have two shape uh, one the first one is in yellow color and the second is in blue color so how can we compare the area between these two shapes so you can see that one common thing is there that in the sh yellow shape you will get two tri uh, triangles and in the blue shape you will also getting two triangles so you can see that uh, let's numbering them with that first over triangle one this is this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 so now compare between the 1 and 3 so you will that uh, you will get that 3 is bigger than 1 and compared to 2 and 4 so once again you will get that 4 is much bigger comparing to 2 so we can say that 3 and 4 is uh, greater than 1 and 2 so the blue shape will be greater than the yellow shape okay because the area is bigger as we compared now next question is is the perimeter of the yellow shape more than the perimeter of the blue shape why so we can easily say that no the area so the perimeter of the yellow shape is not uh, bigger than the blue shape so this topic is covered 
now second topic is how big is my hand so there is a activity for you so let's read it first trace your hand on the squared sheet on the next page how you will decide those hands is bigger your hand or your friend's hand what is the area of your hand you will, you will find out uh, what is the area of your friend's hand that's square centimeter so some questions there were but here is the square sheet and what you will do here in this square sheet you will put your hand and your friend's hand and you will draw that and after uh, you will check after that you will check the area of your hands and your friend's hand how you will check the area by counting this square for example that uh, this is a hand okay and okay this is a hand that has that i made and now you will count the complete square like this one two three four okay and your friends hands complete square you will count then you will check that which has more square okay and then if your hand is covering more square it means your uh, area is bigger your hands area is bigger now next question my footprints so whose footprint is larger yours or your friends so this square sheet activity you can do once again for uh, finding to uh, area of the bigger footprints okay now second how will you decide discuss first uh, you can by observing the area okay of your footprints and your friends footprint you can see then you will get there that uh, your footprint is bigger so it means your footprint has bigger area simple simple now is the area of both your footprint same yes your both uh, legs are equal okay so it means your footprints will be also equal now in the next page here are some animals so let's see that what they are saying my skin has many many folds so you can see here a rhino is saying so i have a big area this way the air all over me keeps me cool so you can see the folded portions are here and that has big areas according to the baby rhino now the elephant is saying what is the area of my footprint oh he is confused about the area now what is the area of my footprint so an ant is saying here so you will get that uh, the area of the footprint of the elephant will be bigger comparing to ant and rhinos now second question guess which animal's footprint will have the same area as yours so think about it that which animal's footprint is equal to the area of your footprint now here are some footprints of animals in actual size now guess the area of their footprints so the hands footprint is this and this is the footprint of a dog so compare which is bigger simple by observing you can say that the dog's footprint area is bigger to hands okay and uh, now in the next page uh, the tiger is saying that make big squares and rectangles like this to find the area faster so you can see a pause is here okay and uh, yes in this shape you can see that complete squares are joints okay to find the area so similarly what you will do you will make complete uh, you will make a shape of complete squares for example uh, if i will take this one so only make a shape of complete square so okay let me zoom it first hmm. now let me join the all squares which are complete so yes this one is also it is not complete so leave that and now yes so here you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and 7 so seven complete square i am getting so this is the area of this shape so in this way you can make the shape of complete squares to find the area of this 
all shapes okay just try to find it by your observing so that's all for today's class my dear students see you all in the next video till then stay at home be healthy bye bye